settle in because we have the June Capital Region Housing Market Update coming at you right now. I'm Mike Field and along with other members of the field team, we are gonna provide you with the data that's relevant for the Capital Region's four major counties, Albany, Rensselaer, Saratoga, and Schenectady. Hey Pat, let's talk about new and active listings. The total number of new listings to hit the market in the last 30 days is down year over year by 21%. This figure is down from last month, which is a good sign for buyers, meaning more homes are hitting the market as we work our way into the summer. The number of current total active listings is down by 20%, which happens to be the same as last month. For the last several months, the new and active listing counts have been down, resulting in a lower number of pending deals. We are down 14% in the total number of pending deals. Jimmy's up next to discuss the number of units sold. The number of units sold is down by 21%. Rensselaer County had the largest drop in sold units by 28%, while Albany County was only down 12%. If you recall, last month, Albany County had the largest drop, which was almost 40% year over year. The overall total sold volume for all four counties was down by 18%. This is half of what it was in last month's market update. However, it was closer to the figure we saw for April. This tells us that the 34% drop we saw in May was likely an outlier. Albany had the lowest drop of 5%, while Rensselaer had the largest drop of 25%. Overall, the average sale price was up 4%. Saratoga County was the only one that had a drop, which was 4%, while Schenectady County was up 16%. If you recall, last month was the first time in months that the overall sale price was down. One of the major changes we are seeing as we work our way through 2023 is a percent of sale to list price. As we work our way through the year, this has increased each month. Currently, homes are selling at 103% of list price, which is the highest it's been all year. Right now, there are a lot of fluid changes in the market, even in the last 30 days. Number one, the active and new listing counts continue to increase month over month. This is a good sign for buyers. This leads to more inventory, more pendings, and more closed deals overall. Number two, the average sale price is back up. Last month, if you remember, we saw a decrease, which was difficult to comprehend given the competitive nature of the market that we were experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. Number three, the percentage of sale to list price ratios are growing. And if you're a buyer in the market and you're interested in a new listing, it's not a matter of if you need to offer at list price. However, it's a matter of how much more than list price do you need to be to be competitive on that home. There are also a lot of different ways in which your offer can stand out and win. And if you're interested in what methods we are using to help our buyers win in this crazy market, call us today. If you've received any value from this market update, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications. Be sure to also like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram so you can keep up with the latest with regards to the Capital Region real estate market. This has been your Capital Region housing market update courtesy of the field team. If you have any questions on the market, call us today. Thank you for watching and don't forget the home field advantage.